Foundation Module 1, UHS Modular Integrated Undergraduate Curriculum Physiology, Dr. Sheen, CEO and Founder. Medical, Superfast Simplified Physiology, Video Lecture Notes. Guyton and Hall, 14, Edition, Chapter Number 2, Lecture Number 11. Learning Objective. Define and enlist types of endocytosis. Explain the mechanism of pinocytosis. Types of endocytosis. 1. Pinocytosis. 2. Phagocytosis. 3. Receptor, mediated endocytosis. Pinocytosis, also called bulk phase endocytosis. It is an endocytic process by which cell engulf ECF and dissolved substance into it. It is an energy using ATP process. Large macromolecules, most proteins, can enter cells. Note, vesicles smaller in size and the substances ingested are in solution. Also called cell drinking. Mechanism of pinocytosis. It occurs in the cell membranes of most cells. It occurs rapidly in macrophages. It is non-selective or non-specific. It can occur in any cell. It is known as fluid endocytosis. A droplet of extracellular fluids, waiter and soluble salts and so on, is taken into the cell. No receptor proteins are involved. Cell membrana folds inward and form, a vesically containing a droplet of ECF. The vesically pinch off from the cell membrane and enters the cytoplasm. Within the cell, the vesicle fuses with a lysosome. Digestive enzymes break down the engulfed solutes into amino acids and fatty acids. It occurs in most cells, especially epithelial cells of the intestine, kidneys, cells of the liver, and cells that line capillaries. Phagocytosis, cell eating. It is the process of engulfment and destruction of solid particles such as bacteria, dead tissue, and foreign particles by the cells. It occurs in much the same way as pinocytosis. This remarkable process is a type of endocytosis. It involves large particles rather than molecules. It is a protective mechanism. The cells performing phagocytosis are called phagocytes. The cell types have the ability of phagocytosis like tissue macrophages and some white blood cells, monocytes, neutrophil, and dendritic cells. The macrophages are the largest phagocytic cells. Steps of pagagocytosis, or mechanism. When a particle, such as bacterium, dead cell, or tissue, debris bind with cell membrane receptors on the phagocyte. The process of evagination starts. The phagocyte will extend its cell membrane to form finger-like projections, or cytoplasmic extension called pseudopodium, to surround the attached particle. All this occurs suddenly zipper-like manner to form a closed phagocytic vesicle. Phagocytic vesicle, or phagosome, travel to the interior by the help of actin and other contractile filaments. The membrane after surrounding the particle, pathogen, will pinch off from its surface. Phagosome fuses with one or more lysosomes, 
inside the cytoplasm of the phagocyte. This fusion is known as phagolysosome. Note, keep in mind, in case of bacteria, each bacterium is already attached to a specific antibody. Then antibody attaches to the phagocyte receptors. Pull the bacterium along with it. Note, this intermediation of antibodies is called opsonization. In summary, phagocytosis is an essential process for maintaining tissue homeostasis and defending against pathogens. Receptor, mediated endocytosis, also known as clathrin, mediated endocytosis. It is also endocytic process. Involves the inward budding of invagination, the cell membrane. Specific macromolecules, proteins, are selectively taken up, allowing cells to absorb metabolites, hormones, proteins, even viruses. The process takes place when a substance binds with the receptor. Steps of receptor Mediated endocytosis or mechanism Protein molecules attach to specialized protein receptors on the surface of cell membrane. The receptors are concentrated in small pits on the outer surface of the cell membrane called coated pits. Note, clathrin coated pits. A protein called clathrin attaches to the inside of cell membrane. Beneath these pits, other proteins such as actin and myosin are also present. This process requires energy. ATP, the protein molecules bound with the receptors. Surface properties of the local cell membrane change. Invagination process starts. Entire pit invaginates inward. Clathrin proteins, fibrillar proteins, surrounding the invaginating pit cause cell borders to close over the attached protein as well as over a small amount of ECF. Immediately then, the invaginated portion of the membrane breaks away from the surface of the cell. A pinocytic vesicle forms inside the cell cytoplasm. This process also requires the presence of calcium ions in the ECF. Calcium ions react with protein filaments actin and myosin, beneath the coated pits. Calcium ions provide the force for pinching the vesicles away from the cell membrane. In summary, RME is fundamental for maintaining cellular function, regulating signaling pathways, and ensuring efficient nutrient uptake.